welcome to Not Dartmoor. Yeah. And here we are in Maleg at last for the beginning of the TGO. Uh, as you can see, loads of people. 4G. 4G, no less. Probably see you in the pub then. Right, see, you see you later. later. I've got to find out where I'm going now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we're here for the beginning of the TGO and uh, we're going to get ourselves sorted and bring you back. Uh, you join us just above Malag. There's Dave down there in his trail star and uh, trusty X Peak. Uh, we're at the beginning of the TGA. TGO. TGA? TGO. Uh, we couldn't get any accommodation. <laughs> uh, but hey ho, it's that just below all this. So I'll give you a little bit round. Not really that much to see, really. It's the houses down there. But you can see the mountains off in the distance. Not a bad view, is it? Uh, we're about to go down, sign in, and uh, that's a ferry. Just go on, do we? Yeah. Flashed a bit of paper and get on. Yep, so we've finally started at last. And with Dave. Hello. And uh, yeah, I just left the ferry. Everyone <laughs> got far, didn't they? Is that as far as everyone got? The pub. Now what? I think the motto of this trip is going to be, look at that! I'll tell you what the mountains are when I get home. Down there, because I ain't saying them now. <laughs> but, yeah, we've about covered our first mile of many. But uh, it's good to get going. Long journey up, and waiting around yesterday and getting the train. And yeah, 14, 16 hours journey time to get here. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to finally start walking properly. And uh, it seems to be one of the more popular routes because there's uh, quite a few people. They had to put another ferry on basically, didn't they? Yeah. Bigger boat. So, there you go. So I'm not going to talk much because just look at the scenery really. Bloody hell. Look at that. that. <laughs> yeah. Is that on the map? I don't know. I can see the path we've got to walk up. We walk up that gully between those two hills. Yeah, we've just seen this cross, so I'll bring you back when we get a bit closer.
Well, Dave's gone home. Dave's dropped out. Uh, his foot's fucked and playing up again, he said. So we stopped for an hour. Um, and he decided to turn around there. So uh, I'm now doing this walk on my own. Well, I am not happy about this. Um, I was really hoping to do it with Dave. He's a good mate. He's a good hiking buddy. And uh, yeah, I was hoping to share this with him. But I hope he's going to be alright because I couldn't walk back with him I've got to keep going maybe I should have walked oh whatever it's too late now I'm going on so I'm now on my own and uh, yeah so I've got to climb up there and get over this pass before the bad weather kicks in I'm halfway up the pass. <laughs> I think that's definitely going to be the motto of this trip. Just look at it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, yeah, we'll get up and over here. The weather's closing in. So I've got to get a wiggle on there. Um, at the top of the pass that is stunning but that isn't so I'm going to get a wiggle on but top of the pass there's the cone yay <laughs> Jesus Oh, we're down there now. Sorry for the breathing, but I am knackered. But I've got to go. This weather's closing in fast. Right, bring you back later. Well, it started snowing. Uh, it's only about 10 minutes. But like, I, got to, I had to put my water gear back on. It started, it was called like hail, snow. Oh God's sake! But I'll give you a look. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I think I'm going to have to barricade campsite. I think I'm going to stay there tonight. Um, we'll see how I go getting on a bit and I'm now on my own so uh, there was a haggle of hikers someone you call them maybe uh, ahead of me that we sort of chatting to on the boat and got to know so I'm trying to catch up with them so at least I'll have all sorts excuse me I've seen some chocolate uh, at least I have someone to hike because a little bit out of my comfort zone on my own up around here. I know I'm on a trail and all the rest of it, but look at that. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, try and catch up with the others. Well, I'm here at Barrowside campsite. 
Yes, I'm just pitched up here tonight. I stopped a bit early because it was pissed out with rain. When we came over the top of the uh, fans, it was snowing. <laughs> but there you go, little hex peak. It's actually drying out, it got soaked last night. But, um, yeah, it's drying out. So, I'm going to get my dinner on in a minute and uh, get a good night's sleep I think and uh, back on in the morning. So let's bring you back. 